Sup nerds, welcome to Knock Off Diagon Alley, or as others call it, the Mystic Market. <music> Mystic Market is a set collection game where you're trying to earn the most coins by buying and selling ingredients or crafting potions and using them to help you create better things and earn more coins. The novelty of this game, and the thing that makes it really stand out from other set collection games, is the market track. When you buy or sell things to the market, you'll adjust the track according to what you sell, and it'll shift all the ingredient prices up or you know down, and it really has an effect on what you buy when and when you sell it. You want to try and buy it while it's at the top of the track when it only costs one coin and sell it at the bottom for more coins. Buy low, sell high. When you sell ingredients, you have to sell them in sets. Some sets only require two, some require three, some require four. Once you've collected that set and you choose to sell, you will sell it for whatever the value is under where that ingredient currently is in the market. So if you have three orc teeth and you want to sell them, you sell all three of them and you'll get 10 coins. Whereas you could buy orc teeth right now at when they're in the center at two coins per so you could still make money on them just by buying them and putting them into a set and selling them all together you know, you're buying them at two four six but then you can sell them for ten so you're making four coins profit it'd be better if you could have bought them at a coin a piece or if you could wait to sell them once they drop down to the 15 spot buy low sell high you can also craft potions um when you craft a potion you just spend the required ingredients that are listed on the side for like this tonic of burrowing, you can spend two dragon scales. You take a card from the Mystic Market, uh, one of the ingredients, and you just put it in your hand, and then you're gonna get the profit that's listed on the side. So with that one, it was two coins. If on your turn you don't want to buy or sell anything, you can also swap cards from your hand with what's in the ingredient row. That way you're uh, trying to get the things you actually need without spending money because you already have a card. You can just swap it. The thing that saves this game from being a stale just set collection game is that ingredient track you know having to time out when you buy things and when you sell things uh it 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 makes the game what it is um there is a little bit there can be a little bit of randomness when you mix in the supply shift cards supply shift cards can come out uh into the lineup after you buy a card if or if you buy a card off the top of the deck and when they come out they're going to shift the values of the ingredients in the market whatever ingredient is listed on the card is the one that's going to be the most valuable so you start at the bottom and you start shifting them so this one it says orc teeth become more valuable so you're going to shift the feathers up and then shift the um the kraken stuff up and now everything's been adjusted and orc teeth are worth the most and if you had been sa you know saving up or you know maybe you're one away you're like oh well i need to I don't want to spend three now to buy, get this last orc teeth. I'm going to trade one of these other cards that I have to get this card now. And on my next turn, as long as nobody else sells them, I can get 15 for them. So it, it's it's really interesting. It, it keeps you on your toes, you know, trying to gauge what people are going to sell. Like if you see somebody collecting things, you're like, okay, he's collecting lots of the dragon scales. It's below my the one I'm collecting, so I'm gonna wait till he sells it and then I'll shift down and then I'll sell my cards. So in the meantime, I'm gonna keep buying things as long as I can afford stuff, or I'm gonna, you know, buy potions or just swap other things. The turns are really quick. You know, when it comes to your turn, you're either buying something, selling something, or swapping. I like that it's a very quick game. It's two to four players, plays in 30 minutes, like it says on the box. It's a lot of fun. If you like the theme or you, you just like you know fun games i highly recommend this game it's a blast you know you kind of feel like you're a, a stock trader or something uh, i'll have a link in the description box down below where you can get yourself a copy while you're down there subscribe to our channel so you'll never be bored dumbledore ron 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 weasley